Okay, hey everybody, here we are on day 121. <laughs> and um, let's talk about like a really important thing. Yesterday I talked about pushing that, um, that boulder up the hill and how while you're pushing the boulder up the hill, um, it feels overwhelming, right? It feels overwhelming, but at least like you're putting in reps, you're, you're making it work. Um, that's what I love from sports is that it reminds me that every day just to put in the reps, right? Put in the reps and make it all work. So here's uh, something else that I'm reminded of um, that just has become just kind of a natural occurrence to me, uh, especially since my cancer journey. Because since my cancer journey, I've had to look at a brand new face, <laughs> right? I've had to kind of try to get used to brand new hair. I've had to get used to some chemo brain moments. I've had to get used to chemo feet, right? I had to relearn how to walk because I couldn't walk. Um, and what that did for me is, number one, it was the most humbling experience ever, ever, as an adult to relearn how to walk it is extremely humble. But, but here's my point. Are you willing to suck at things before you get better, right? So many people come to me and say, oh, Michelle, I'm starting my, my video every single day. And they go, oh my gosh, it took me 45 minutes to do a video every day. And it's like, what, it took you 45, why? Well, because the first three takes sucked. No. That's the whole rhythm of it. That's the whole reason for it. Are you willing to suck at things and to be judged by folks and to, you know, I put on my, my Facebook the other day about my, my 89 year old uncle who, who told me he didn't like my hair now. It's like, yeah, duh. Right? It's like, I'm like, you think I loved to lose everything? It's why I went and got my eyebrows done so that I could have some on my face and my eyelashes done because I had no hair for so long. It's like now, boom, I'm gonna always have hair, right? Are you prepared for that criticism? Are you prepared to suck at things, right? And if you're not prepared to be bad at things, then get out of this entrepreneurial journey because that's what's gonna take you over the edge. So today, I did a, uh, a brand new podcast interview with um, my great new friend now, her name is Mandy, and Mandy has a wonderful um, business that she's helping folks become a VA, and she's like, okay, tell me like your mindset, my, your mind shifts, um, your, you know, how your mindset shifts, like how like do you think and how does it work? And I'm like, you know, um, number one, she asked me to be on her podcast, and I agreed, right? You know, she said, oh, some people are like, you need to tell me, like, how much time and how. I, I don't need to know that. Because if one person sees it and comes to my list, it makes it all worth it. Right? Right? I ain't trying to sell everybody because I have systems in place that make sure that no matter what I do with my time, whether it is sitting here talking to you on a free video that I do every single day and have done now 121 days in a row. Or if it is a full on class that I do every Friday for free, by the way, um, that now is building momentum when I was doing it, it was one or two people. Now, you know, last week we had 10, right? Um, it's not that, right? But you have to be okay with sucking at first. You have to be okay with doing the smaller podcast. Because once you do the smaller podcast, guess what happens? Those people that have a little bit bigger podcast say, well, she did Mandy's, so I know she'll come and do mine. And so now it just keeps me flowing. It keeps my story out there. It keeps people coming into my machine. Like, why would I say no? I don't understand some folks and what they're, what's important to them and where their egos are. Um, uh, when you are infected by the cancer disease, your ego goes away. Your ego goes away. When you can't walk to the restroom by yourself, 
or you're throwing up on yourself, or you go to a restaurant and you're throwing up at the table, hello, um, your ego goes away. So I want you to look at all the things that you've been saying no to, okay, and see if that's keeping your business stagnant. And all the things that you have to have perfect and that you won't do and that's taking you five hours to do when it really is just turn on the camera and just do it, right? Sometimes you see me sitting on my couch over there looking crazy, you know, tired as all get out, but at the end of the day, I made the commitment to myself to do it every single day. Sometimes you see me here at my desk, <laughs> you know, with everything around me, you know, you have no idea what this pile right here is of the things that I have to do for the day. Right? Um, sometimes you see me in the car going to pick up my daughter. Sometimes you see me in LA hanging out with her. Right? It is not about perfection. It is about building that consistent muscle so that no matter what time you put me on camera, no matter what time you decide that it's time for me to come on, no matter what question you ask me, I am prepared to answer it because I've done this for 121 days in a row so that people go, I could never be on live TV, oh my gosh. Well, I'm on live TV because I do this 121 days in a row. I don't know, I'd be nervous. You have to give me the questions before for the podcast so I can, because you don't practice this, right? It's even, easy, steady, I don't get nervous. I don't get overwhelmed because it truly is just a conversation. And it's because I've done it now 121 days in a row. You know, sometimes my hair's all over my head. Sometimes I have a hat on. <laughs> it's just do it, right? Right? It's okay to suck at it. It's okay that you aren't perfect. It's okay that you're still learning the nuance. It's okay that you're learning the rhythm. It's okay that you are just trying to get better. You know, one of my favorite stories is, is, is Kevin Hart was talking about how he was at a basketball camp with Kobe. And he was like, yeah, you know, I, I did well against him. You know, Kobe Bryant, he was feeling all great until he found out that Kobe was there and was at the camp and all he was working on was his left hand so that he did every drill Every shot, every dribble was with his left hand going to his left side when his, he's normally right hand dominant. Right? He was prepared to be on the same level as the rest of them for a while. Yeah, You have to be okay with sucking. I just had a friend remind me of that, that it's okay to suck for a while. It's okay to suck because once you do it, you get better. And once you get better, you get more money. That's it. That's it. You know, once you get better, you get more money. But it takes time. All right. Hey, I love you for free. I'll see you tomorrow for day one, two, two. <laughs> this is super fun. If you have any questions you, you want me to answer, if you have anything you want me to do, um, if you'd like to come to my free Friday lab, let me know that too. You can just send me a DM. You don't have to comment if you don't want people to see you. I don't know what that's about, but you don't have to. Um, and we'll go and have some fun together. All right. I love you for free. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's go suck for a while and then let's go make some money for a while.